I have interviewed the mayor of Chilliwack. Matter of fact, he's been on the show a number of times. I've interviewed the mayor of Mission. Today, I will be interviewing another mayor. Welcome to Small Talk. Any and all are welcome here to come and chat with me. Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful, sunshiny day here. And uh, speaking of sunshine, <laughs> I'd like to introduce today's guest, Mayor, Mayor Braun from Abbotsford. Welcome to the show, Mr. Mayor. Good morning, Nancy. Good to be with you. Thank you for the invite. Oh, it's my pleasure for sure. So uh, I'm assuming it's sunny there in Abbotsford. Yes, it's a very nice sunny day. A little cold, uh, minus three-ish, I think it was a uh, half hour ago. But other than that, it's a great day. Right. So how long have you been the mayor? I have been the mayor uh, seven years and three months, I think, or something like that. So coming up, uh, there's an election in October, so that'll be fully eight, eight years. Oh, very good. So now um, being mayor, obviously, there's been challenges. And this last one with the, with the flooding, was that your greatest challenge so far? Uh, yes. Uh, prior to that, I think it was probably COVID. I mean, there's always challenges. Uh, sure. Every day brings some new challenges, but nothing like COVID. And then, of course, then the flood in November hit, which was, you know, times COVID times 10. Right. So. Yeah. So I, I know that, um, um, like I had heard that there was fundraisers, um, that I know some people personally who were participating in fundraisers, trying to help out uh, Abbotsford residents who were stranded or whatever. Uh, were you involved in any of that, the fundraising? Or I don't know if mayors do that, actually. No, actually, mayors try to, uh, at least this mayor is very careful about fundraising because I could probably raise a lot of funds. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm always uh, mindful of uh, the day when somebody calls and says, you remember when you phoned me and wanted some money? And I gave it to a good cause, and now I have an issue, and I'd like you to have a look at it. So, oh, so, yeah. I, so, so I always point people in the right direction, but I myself don't get involved in right. fundraisers. But you're right. Our community really stood up. I mean, I, I, I was out in the field. Uh, I saw neighbors helping neighbors, strangers helping uh, strangers, uh, farmers helping each other, and uh, we had lots of help from Chilliwack. Uh, from the township of Langley, from Mission. Uh, so it was uh, it just warmed my heart to see the humanity uh, uh, and the kindness and the caring uh, of the people uh, in the city of Abbotsford and our surrounding neighbors. And, and there was people from Vancouver and Surrey. Right. They came to help. Uh, they'd phone our emergency center and say, hey, I've got a boat. You need any help? I've got trailers. I'm ha happy to haul cattle. So it was, I mean, I could talk for hours about the stuff. Even yesterday, I had a meeting with some of the people at, uh, or a person at Barrowtown, and they were telling me some of the stories that I hadn't heard yet. I says, wow, this is just fantastic what I'm hearing. Very good, eh? Isn't it, 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 like you said, it's heartwarming, isn't it? It is. We, I just think we should be like that all year round. <laughs> well, there's no reason why we can't. Yeah, I and when, when we look at, uh, you know, yes, we, we have issues and struggles and everything else. But when I'm looking at what's going on in the Ukraine right now, uh, it pales in comparison to what we're dealing with here. Yeah, such a scary thing, for sure. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, now getting back to your career, um, were you on council before you became a mayor? Yes, I uh, served one term. Uh, I, I ran for... Uh, well, first of all, I, yeah, so the answer is yes, I was one term as a councillor, and then I decided to run for uh, mayor in 2014, and then was reelected in 2018, so. You have to be on council before you could be a mayor? No. Oh, okay. No, there's lots of uh, people that have come in uh, without any political experience at all. Uh, I uh, always, I was in the private sector, I had my own railway and transit construction company. Okay. and uh, built uh, a good portion of SkyTrain uh, oh. uh, in Calgary, Edmonton, Toronto. Anyways, we built railways and transit systems across the country. Uh, I sold the business um, to an American firm. Uh, I retired in 2002, no, 2003, January. And uh, then my friend started to uh, try to convince me I should run for public office. And my response was, and why would I do that? 
So, and my kids told me, dad, don't run for political office. Uh, people don't like politicians. And there's some truth to that. Um, but I always felt uh, during my career that I had an obligation to my city. I've lived here for 68 of my 71 years. And when mayors would phone me and ask me if the, I would serve on the airport authority board or chair the economic development committee or uh, serve on the police board, I always said, yes, I would do that. Uh, oh, but only one at a time. I didn't want to be on three or four committees because I says I won't do service to any of them. So I was very familiar for, and I did that probably over 30 years. So I was somewhat familiar, but I can tell you that uh, I thought I knew our city fairly well. Uh, you know, I had a steep, uh, not a steep, but I had a, still had a learning curve to become a council, as a counselor for that three years. And uh, when I became the mayor, that, uh, that slope increased because there's so much happening in our city that I, I was not aware of. And uh, so there is, I, you know, if, if people ask me or when people tell me they would like to be a mayor one day, I says, you know, serve at least one term on council because mm -hmm. you will get it. Because if you come in cold turkey, you have a really steep learning curve. Right, for sure. What's the population of Abbotsford? Uh, according to the 2021 census, it's 153,500, I think, is the number that I haven't quite. It was 141,000 in 2016. So, yes, there's... Uh, quite a few more uh well 12,000 no whatever yeah something 12 and a half thousand more people here now than there was five years ago so oh, right. heading toward towards 200,000 which is our uh official community plan is what will the city look like when we get to 200,000 for sure yeah you know just thinking about when you said politicians do not like uh in my opinion one of the best um qualities a, a mayor or any kind of politician can have is the approachability right so this is what I appreciate. You know, I don't know you. You don't know me. You know, I live in a different city and being in Chilliwack. But the fact that I, I reached out and responded is that to me says a lot, you know. Yeah. So uh, I'm assuming that a lot of people in Abbotsford feel that way about you. I, I don't know. I, I know there I, there's some out there that are not fans of mine, but I think every mayor is in that position. <laughs> but uh, for the most part, uh, I get uh, a lot of people telling me that they're pleased with where the city is going and uh, encourage me to keep going. And uh, but I do take uh, I, I have never declined a meeting with somebody right. or a conversation. In fact, sometimes they'll phone my executive assistant and and it'll be a complaint and I can hear it because Nancy's office is just next to mine. I, I know somebody's not happy. So, <laughs> you know, and depending on the conversation, I'll, I'll go and ask her. I said, what was that all about? Because I only heard your half of the conversation. And I says, okay, give me the number and I'll phone them back. And I, I don't do that every day, but it happens often enough that uh, the general consensus from those people is, wow, we didn't think you'd actually phone us. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm, uh, but, but they talk to me a little different than they do to Nancy, my, my Nancy. Yeah, for sure. Yes, for sure. Be because yeah. some, sometimes it's a, it's not so pleasant a conversation about whatever the subject right. matter is. I think that's wonderful though, that because a lot of people are, have misconceptions, right? Yep. And, and not everybody, uh, even after they talk to me, uh, I can think of two or three. They said, okay, I get a better understanding of what's going on, but I, I still, uh, I'm going to leave here uh, agreeing to disagree. And I said, well, that's your choice. Yeah. I've told you my side and uh, um, I don't know what else I can do. Yeah, for sure. Uh, now, another thing is like uh, you talked about uh, Chilliwack, you know, coming together and helping out. So as a mayor, do you, do you have meetings with the mayor of Chilliwack, with the mayor of Mission, like, do you got, do you mayors get together? Uh, yes, um, it depends. So the, we belong to the Fraser Valley Regional District, which is made up of six cities. So Abbotsford, Mission, Chilliwack, Kent, Agassiz and Hope, and then eight electoral areas. Okay. So those, those meetings happen every month, monthly. And uh, I was on the Fraser Valley Regional District up until a couple of years ago, and I decided to step off when COVID hit. 
because uh, I figured I was going to have my hands full with that. So I let a counselor take my position. But I'm also part of the BC Urban Mayors Caucus, which started shortly after COVID. And we were, so it's the mayors um, of the largest, uh, the 13 largest cities in Abbotsford or in uh, the province. <clears throat> and we were meeting every Friday morning from 7 to 8 a.m. Uh, weekly. Mm -hmm. up until about two or three months ago and then we went every two weeks but i had that meeting again this morning and so we talk about common issues and uh it's a great group uh i find that i'm not the only one that has uh homelessness or addiction or housing issues uh or development issues i find that uh, the mayors in prince george and Kelowna and kamloops and vancouver and victoria and Santa or uh, nanaimo we all have those uh yeah. those issues so it's it's a good group and we bounce things off of each other we spend one hour together and uh, we did that this morning at a good productive meeting very good and that's good to hear that yeah i mean because it's important right absolutely and, and there will be other mayors uh, lately i've been talking to mayors in washington state uh about the flood and right. what are we going to do together to fix some of what needs to be fixed so uh that, that's, uh, those are, uh, I, I really enjoyed meeting, you know, or talking to the mayors of Everson and Sumas and Linden and, right. and uh, Bellingham, I think was one of them as well. So anyways, we're, we're trying to stand up that international committee uh, that was created after the 1990 flood and uh, was kind of disbanded. Uh, anyways, I'm trying to convince the province and the federal government, you guys need to stand up that committee because we got to fix this once and yes, for all. Yes, I agree. Yeah, I mean, you, as you know, Chilliwack was totally cut off. Yep, totally. At both ends. Yeah. You were an island. You were an island there for a while. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, we needed a boat. All needed a boat to get out. <laughs> yes. Um, now, speaking of like just about COVID, um, I'm, now I've heard that announcements that things are, are, are starting to open up and I'm not sure how much, because I haven't been paying too, too much attention. You know, I still wear my mask, whatever. But um, is it opening up our businesses or not businesses, but um, let's say gymnasiums or whatever it was that had been restricted? Entertainment is a good one. Are those yes. opening up in Abbotsford? Yes, we, <clears throat> I mean, I only know this city, but for, first, or let me go back a step. I think the province of British Columbia has been more open than any other province throughout COVID. Uh, within British Columbia, um, we really not had a, I mean, we have some issues in Abbotsford, but uh, Omnicron, the, you know, we're, we're uh, our city hall has been open. Uh, I mean, you had to make a, a appointment or a meetings by appointment only. Uh, and that still is the way uh, you can't get up on the fifth floor to my office unless you make an appointment. But I, I've been here every day, five days a week since COVID hit. Uh, we've been meeting in person in council. Uh, we give options for virtual and there have been times when two or three, uh, four maybe at the most would be virtual and the rest were in person and uh, we're having public hearings and so we, we really, as a city, haven't missed a beat. Now, what's been, what's been more difficult to manage is uh, we've had people, um, I think 180 at the highest peak uh, working from home. Um, I, our IT department was, uh, was front and center because you don't want to lose IT. Because if everybody gets sick, then, then what are you, what are you going to do? Yes. So we, we, and planners and engineers, there were some finance, there were some people that were working from home and then we'd rotate them in and out so that, uh, you know, two weeks, uh, two weeks at home, two weeks in the office. Um, so I, I think from my perspective and same thing with the police, we have our municipal police force, not RCMP. Um, you know, we have a vaccination policy. Uh, we did not mandate everybody had to be vac uh, vaccinated. But if you uh, weren't vaccinated, you have to do a test, I think, one, once every two or three days. Okay. Um, and, you know, even there, some people have issues with that. So, but okay. it's, uh, it's, been a, it's been an interesting road, uh, two years, and there's people that have varying, uh, very divergent perspectives on COVIDs and COVID and vaccines and masks and we're to the point where I, I've seen families torn apart. I've seen, you know, friendships uh, 
torn apart, uh, churches divided, and on and on it goes. Yeah, it's the nature of the beast, isn't it? Yep, but I th I'm hoping we're, we're at the tail end of this, and uh, I, I see the numbers are coming down, things are starting to open. Uh, I'm going to the Abbotsford Canucks hockey uh, game tonight. It'll be the first time uh, that we can actually go to full capacity because it's been at 50%. So I think that is encouraging people because, uh, you know, uh, our society is getting stressed out. And I think oh. we've seen that uh, and oh. what happens when they do get stressed out. Yes. Yes. People become unfriendly. A lot of yes. them. Yeah. Yes. Now, yeah. what's just uh, starting as of today, I believe right across the provinces, we're now able to get these um, um, the kits for um, a COVID um, testing test kits, right? Yeah. Starting yep. today, as a matter of fact, so yep. I'm eligible for one, and obviously you are too, because you told me how old you were. <laughs> yep, yep, yeah, no, I haven't gotten my kit yet, but uh, so no, I'm double vaxxed and boosted, and uh, yes. I actually, in the last two and a half years, I haven't had as much as a sniffle. Good, yeah, uh, just, well, I think even, I even during the flood, when I was uh, only getting two or three hours sleep, oh. my wife was convinced that when it was, uh, when I came out the other end, I was going to get sick, and Nothing. She says, I can't believe it. So I says, I must have good genes. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Little joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, I get it. <laughs> I have those too. <laughs> okay, good, good. You know, when I interview the mayor, uh, Mr. Uh, mayor Popoff, I, I love to kid him all the time. And, and he's pretty good. He goes along with me. With me. I yeah. keep letting everybody know that, that I'm his favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, I know you're a busy man. I do appreciate you uh, coming out to do this with me. And um, I'm just going to address the audience. So just hang on for just a second. Sure. Uh, I, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed listening to Mayor Braun of Abbotsford. It gives us all an idea of what, what is involved in being a mayor, or just being on council in general, and some of the things that they have to cope with. Um, but they seem to be doing it really well. Uh, thank you, Mr. Braun. And Thank you, everybody, for watching the show. I appreciate it. And uh, peace out, everyone. A sense of community to the wax of place to be. A sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural, you're sure to see it all. Chilliwack's a place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwack's a place to be, you'll see.